Hey sources and fans, it's Kaloyth here from Renegade Squadron. Before I start today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on any of our videos made during the month of July for a chance to win a Mustang Alpha. Today's video is about a very popular tool known as the DPS Calculator by Urkel Games. This was made possible via Peter Dolkin's Unpack Tool. So what is this tool used for? Well, it is a ship fitting tool used to plan out your ship builds. So without further ado, let's jump in and go over this. So this is exactly kind of how it looks like. Now, if you haven't loaded your PTU data, you probably want to do that here. But what's really cool is that this tool also has a bunch of these different little widgets here. And they'll kind of go over the stats for the ships, weapons, EMPs, missiles, shields, power plants, coolers, quantum drives, and utilities. So we're going to go ahead and hop back to our ship. We'll go ahead and do that right here. And you'll see that we've got our sludge build, we got attritions, we got sucker punches, we got neutrons, and you'll see they've got different stats. And so the idea is what is the kind of weapon that you want to use for your build? Do you want a weapon that hits really hard, does some ballistic penetration, potentially knocks off a piece of the ship with enough weapons? Well, sledges might be for you. Or maybe you want to get in nice and close, apply a lot of DPS with um, you know, a pretty decent chance to hit, and attrition's might be that. Or conversely, maybe you want to really sap a target's shields, but you might want to use sucker punches. And you also might be like, hey, you know what, I want a cannon, but I just want to be able to hold down the button. And you look right here, I mean, you've got neutrons that do quite a bit of DPS. This is another thing to keep in mind, is that we've got altered here, so it's double the amount. So you kind of got to split that in half, but it's, it just kind of depends what you want for your damage. And all these stats are really important. It kind of shows us what we want for our weapons, but we could also swap this out. Let's say, for example, we want a gimbal on there, right? We can do that by switching this mount right here. Maybe we want a fixed size three. Maybe we want, you know, size two by size one. We could do that. So there's, there's many different things that we can use, and that's going to influence our DPS right here and our alpha damage. So that's really important. We also have our missiles. Right? So different missiles have different stats. We've got Ignites here. These are, I believe, IR missiles. Then we've also got our Electromagnetic. That's going to be our EM missiles. And we've got our Sparks. We've got cross-section missiles. So there's many different types of things out there that we can use for missiles. And again, that's going to reflect right here. Whether we've got, you know, eight missiles, we can change these racks. We can play with this. This is really cool. You know, we could put a size three missile on there if we wanted to, for example. So there's a lot to do with that, and that's going to keep influencing this number right here for missile damage and the number of missiles. And then we've got our shields. You know, we've got shimmers right here, and it just kind of depends what you want to do. Do you want a fast regen shield like a shimmer, or do we want a very slow regening shield with a lot of HP, like the Palisade? Another thing to keep in mind is what's our heat? What's our IR? So we got 12 and 6, so this is much greater than the Shimmer. So maybe you want to run it with a Shimmer for a kind of maybe a selfie build. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And then we got our Quantum Drives, right? Do we want something that's very, uh, you know, decent middle of the road like an EOS? Or do we want something that's like a military and we get there very quickly, but we've got very little range? Or maybe we want, you know, that light fire. And we've got a heck of a lot of range. And we can see that, again, by digging into these stats, we can see 119 versus our 21, you know, 27. So that's a big difference. So that's what's so cool about this tool is that we can see these kind of things. So again, power plant. Maybe you want a slipstream to be nice and stealthy. You, you know, you're going to be always using your power plant on a cell ship. It's always going to be running. So you always want to have its low of signature generation as possible so that's why that's important maybe you know you want power you're a dog fighter you want that power you want to make sure you don't run out of power but you know what if you get emp'd that's this number right here look at power draw request time you know it's it gives you some protection whereas you know if you decide hey you know i just want to throw the biggest thing on here you know like a breton right it's 21 seconds i mean that's that's incredibly important to know these stats and this tool shows you that same thing with coolers, right? You could have an ultra flow, which is really good. Or you could have that snow blind, right? So six 
and then you know 0.74 right it's a difference you're always going to be using a cooler so you always want to have the lowest for cooler so these are kind of stats that really kind of play into our shield HP and our EM our power draw our heat you know that's what's so cool about this tool now I'm just gonna kind of give you guys an idea of for example a hornet ghost right we've got our this is like a stealth build right and this kind of uses the same logic that we talked about right I've got our sledges I want to go ahead I want to get in close I want to apply as much damage very quickly up front because like it or not I'm running a mirage here instead of a second maybe like a guardian or two guardians one of the reasons I'm running this mirage is because I wanted to do the heavy lifting so if my shields go down or they get damaged it's point or 1.8 versus 12.6 or 6.6. You know, a person can say, well, I want to run a Guardian instead. But if we run a Guardian, for example, it's going to start recharging three seconds before the Palisade. But we look right here, on a lot of ships, the temperature of IR is actually the deciding factor on scan range, right? Some people don't know that. But so if I get hit, that Guardian, yeah, it's going to start two seconds sooner, but it's going to blow my signature up. And so does it help me if I'm easier to see? The answer is no, right? It's better that you've got your Mirage and Palisade versus a Mirage and Guardian. So it's just little things like this that make such a big difference to your ship fitting. And again, you could have a Spectre, right? Quantum, you know, I've noticed it really doesn't make a huge lot of difference with this. So you might be like, you know what? Uh, you know, I, I just don't want, I, I want to do a lot of jumping around. You might be like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and put a, a Foxfire on here. Right, it's got decent stats for temperature, actually really good temperature for signature. But look at that, it's got 99 for a, a number for quantum distance. That's really, really good. And again, you've got your slipstream. Snow blinds, right? These are essentially going full stealth here. We want to make sure that if, you know the components that are gonna, always going to be on, the power plant, the coolers, that they're always the lowest number, right? Because this is an EM, this is kind of like a stealth ship, I mean. So, now jumping ahead, we're gonna see, well, what about a combat ship, right? You know, maybe I'm going with sledges here, but you know what, I might just say, hey, you know what? Maybe I wanna throw on some mantises. We can flip to that. And we quickly got something that can lay down a lot of DPS. Because you know what? The Hornet, great ship. Unfortunately, its nose has very little HP, so ballistics are really strong against it, unfortunately, right? So, maybe that's what I want. And then I said, hey, I want Guardian Palisade. You could even go two Guardians if you wanted even more regen, right? But yeah, it's just essentially, now look at my shield. 10, 980 versus 15, 480. So it's just, it makes a difference having these kind of of different builds it allows you to play it allows you to play and, and swap between them so that's really important and that's that's why this tool is so beneficial and why you'll see me use it in a lot of our builds is it just does a, such a great job of really kind of giving you the stats and you know we could change the ship here for example we could swap to a hurricane or in this case a mustang omega and it changes right there's no stats for there's no benefit to that right whereas we can see there's some right here it displays all this information and you can save it. You can share it, that's the cool part. So you can share it. So right here, it just populated a URL and I can paste it to my friends and be like, hey, uh, John Doe, what do you think of this build? You know, that's one of the reasons I was able to come up with this just absolutely devastating hurricane build that I've used in uh, our preview of the hurricane. Let's go find that, let's build that real quick. So we got a hurricane, we've got I'm going to switch this to our size 4 fixed, and we're going to put Salvation Distortion Scatter Guns on here. Let's let's just take a look at this for a second, right? And then we've got, we're going to go ahead and put Predators on here. There they are. Just look at that. Each gun does 9, 000, almost 10,000 DPS of, of shield damage via distortion damage. That's insane. And these kind of cool little builds like this, this would not be possible, well, not very easily and accessible if we didn't have a tool like this. This just makes it so easy. We can plug and go. 
and we can see this thing is just a monster. If there is a ship out there other than an eclipse, I can just absolutely nuke things down. It is the hurricane with a gunner running two salvation distortion guns and predators if you can sneak up on an opponent. I mean, that's what's so cool about this build. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys use this tool a lot, I certainly do. You'll see me using it in plenty of other videos. But I just thought, hey, you know what, let's just kind of go over this and talk about this because you might have some questions like, hey, Golo, how do you come up with this? This is how I'm doing it. I'm playing, I'm doing some, uh, you know, theory crafting, so to speak, on here, and then going out, testing it in a real environment in Arena Commander in the PU, seeing how successful it's going to be. So, yeah, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and make sure to comment as well so that you get a chance to win that Mustang Alpha, and I will see you guys next time. Renegade Squadron, signing off.